How steep of a hill can you ride up on on an electric trike? Stick around to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. Today we're gonna to answer the question, how steep of a hill can you ride up on on an electric trike? Now, before I get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. All right, right here I've got two of the 630 electric tricycles, the Relax Body 750 watt, and the Simple Glide 500 watt. Now, both of these are linked in the description below if you wanna check them out. All right, so I have logged thousands of miles on electric trikes and all different types of e-trikes, uh, recumbent style, semi-recumbent, upright trikes, folding e-trikes, fat tire e-trikes, our rickshaw, many, many different kinds. And we're in San Clemente, California. We have a lot of hills around here, including some very steep ones on some trails uh, that we, we ride on. And there is, what I've learned is there is a limit to the uh, grade of a hill you can take on, on an e-trike. Now, when I propose the question, how steep of a hill can you ride an electric trike on? That's a very difficult question to answer. It's not as a simple as a one size fits all type question, right? Um, because there's many factors that play into it. The other thing I wanna point out is a lot of people I talk to, they talk about hills by their houses and they say, oh, it's 50% grade or 40% grade. That's impossible, right? Even a 10% grade, 12% grade, 15% grade, these are incredibly steep hills. 8% um, grade is even a decent uh, steepness of a hill. So you really should determine uh, if you can, you know, find out the grade of a hill using a uh, route tracking app. Um, you could also use Google Earth to calculate uh, the grade of the hill. Now, with that said, in my experience, there have been some hills I haven't been able to get up, or I've been able to get up it on one type of trike and not another type of trike. And what I've learned is, is that traversing hills, many things play into it. Now, number one, of course the motor type is important, right? You'll want as large of a motor as possible. Now, street legal e-trike motors, the biggest it can be is 750 watts in most states. Off-roading, you could have a larger motor. Um, but again, if we're talking pavement or trails. So the other thing too is the placement of the motor has a big effect, whether it's a rear mounted motor, a mid drive motor, or a front hub motor. Now, a lot of people also swear by the idea that you need a rear mounted motor and that's gonna give you better traction. I have a few thoughts on that as well. Now, I actually yesterday tried to traverse a hill on a rear mounted motor trike and I could not get, it up, get up the hill. Then I went up it on a front hub motored trike and I got up the hill. Now there's a couple other things that played into me getting up the hill. The one with the rear mounted motor had a little bit of a longer frame. The front hub motor was a little more compact and a little bit lighter. But the other piece that played into that was the weight distribution. So on the rear mounted motor, there was so much weight in the rear of the trike that as I was trying tra to traverse the steep hill, it became almost impossible to get up the hill, right? So because I had my weight in the back of the trike, I also had the motor in the back of the trike and the battery in the back of the trike. It actually didn't put enough weight on the front wheel to give it good traction. So again, a lot of people think, oh, by having it in the rear, you're not gonna get as good traction. But with that said, you also need some weight distribution in the front to take on very steep hills. So actually, on the front hub motor e-trike that was a very powerful, lot of torque, it was better because we had the motor in the front which gave some weight to that front wheel, counterbalanced by my weight in the rear and the battery in the middle of the frame. So a lot of those things play into it. Now, 
on a more gradual hill, something that's not incredibly steep, all these factors really won't matter that much. What will be most important, number one, is the weight of the rider and the power of the motor. But as you get into more steep hills, it's not just about the power of the motor. It really isn't. It's going to be about the weight distribution. Uh, also, fat tires um, have more traction, yes, but on a severely steep hill, a lot more drag. So that makes it more difficult as well. So again, on the surface, if you look at a fat tire e-trike and it's powerful, oh, that's gonna be great for hills. Not necessarily. So think about the weight of it, think about the tire width, think about the power of the motor, right? If you have a fatter tire e-trike, you need to compensate that by having most likely a more powerful motor. Now, the other thing I will say is I'm 230 pounds and anybody under 200 pounds will experience a lot less issues when it comes to steep hills. Anybody 150 pounds and less will experience even far lesser issues with ascending uh, a steep hill on an electric trike. But as you get to be heavier, that becomes even more of an issue um, climbing these very, very steep hills. As an example for me, when I get on a really steep incline, now I've got 230 pounds on the rear end of that trike that this motor is trying to push up becomes very, very difficult, right? So if I was 150 pounds, probably a totally different story. So again, this is why it's really hard to say how steep of a hill can I get up? Will it get me up this hill? Um, if you have specific hill information that you wanna give us and we can give you our best advice on it, um, also your body weight will be very helpful as well. Also your expectation, right? Are you expecting to just use the throttle and blast up the hill? Or are you realizing that you're just gonna use pedal assist? Because the other thing I will say is on electric trikes going uphill, unless you're 180 pounds or less, you're most likely not going to just be able to use throttle only to get up the hill. Now, that's not entirely true. I actually, on another video, I use throttle only on a couple of our 750 watt e-trikes that have a high torque rating on the motor. Now I'm not flying at speeds up the hill, but as you get heavier, it becomes increasingly likely that you'll have to use pedal assist to get up the hill because the throttle won't be able to give you enough power on its own. So I just wanna make sure for a lot of riders out there, uh, the expectations are aligned with what e-trikes are capable of because you have to remember these are tricycles that come with pedals. These are not fully powered, only, only electric powered vehicles um, with big, big motors and engine on them. Again, these are supposed to be pedaled. They are supposed to still be able to allow people to get exercise, which is different than something that you just push a throttle and zoom anywhere you go. If that's something you want, a full electric, probably look more into a golf cart um, or a single person transportation type golf cart. Those things exist as well. And you could hit speeds of 25, 30 miles an hour, uh, 30 miles an hour in those. So I hope that helps if you've got some hills by you, if you're thinking about an e-trike um, or you already have one and you're contemplating whether you should take on uh, the hills by you. The last thing I wanna leave you with is be cautious, right? If it looks really steep to you and you don't have confidence you can make it up that hill, don't try. You know, the big reason is, is because if you go up and get stuck, it's gonna be a scary circumstance to come down. Um, so you wanna make sure that, you know, you're sizing up those grades and you do what's reasonable for you uh, to not push yourself to any sort of extreme that would put you in danger. So if you have any other questions on the topic at all, please reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Don't forget, both of these e-trikes are linked in the description. And if you have any other, uh, sorry, they're linked in the description. And don't forget, we have a 30-day test ride your e-trike policy. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. We're also gonna warranty everything for one year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of it, parts and labor. And if you wanna come out for a test ride, we are here in San Clemente, California at 1046 Calle Rakoto Unit K. Come test ride any of our e-trikes before you purchase to ensure you're making the right choice. And join our community also. We have a Facebook group called 630 Peddlers. 
There's thousands of members in the group. Join before you purchase to talk to existing riders to ensure you're making the right choice. Then when you have yours, post in the group, make friends, and finally download the app to track your rides and compete on the leaderboard. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.